FITS Liberator is an excellent program to convert a FITS file into a TIFF file. A quick Google search of FITS Liberator will bring you to the ESA ESO NASA FITS Liberator 3 page. A recently released version, FITS Liberator 4, has finally been released and now supports 64-bit operating systems. By selecting the FITS Liberator 4 link at the top of the page, it will bring you to the page where you can download the newest version. You can either start downloading it up here, or if you have different versions of operating systems such as a Windows computer or a Mac or even Linux, you can scroll down the page in order to figure out how to download those specific versions. FITS Liberator 4 has a bunch of new features, which you can view here. Once you have downloaded FITS Liberator 4, go ahead and open it, and let's explore. It looks a lot different than FITS Liberator 3. A lot of the same features have been preserved, but the scaling for the dynamic range has been whittled down to only three options. The white clipping and black clipping options are still down here, along with flip image. And in order to import a photo, you can select the image here in the center or select Open FITS File. The image will often start with the linear scaling. I prefer to use A sign H in order to make it a bit more easy to manipulate my black and white levels. Using the black and white sliders, I can choose how much I would like to include in the image. Even though the image is pretty dark here, there is no green or blue to signify black or white clipping. And even though you cannot really see what the image looks like, I have found that this does not really matter, as when I open it in a image processing software like Photoshop, I can then manipulate the black and white levels to view the image. To save the image, simply click Save, and make sure that it is, is selected as 16 bits. You can also save it as a 32-bit image. However, Photoshop will not support 32-bit processing at this time. FITS Liberator 4 is a much more simplified and easier to use version than FITS Liberator 3. Although it does not have the same dynamic scaling range as it did before, the fact that it supports 64-bit operating systems means it is a much faster and easier to use program. However, I also do keep a copy of FITS Liberator 3. I found that the images come out exactly the same and that having less scaling ranges makes it a little easier to decide which one to use. Use whichever version of FITS Liberator you would like to use and have fun.